I had been sent a video from a friend of someone who modded a Game Boy or a Game Boy shell to show the speed of their car. So I took this uh, cheapo little shell that I had that wasn't working from an imitation Game Boy and uh, hooked it up with an Arduino and a display. It works, but it's kind of unusable because I'm reading off the OBD port on the car and I don't know how to get more than a response every couple of seconds out of it. So there's a big delay. We're just gonna drive around and uh, I'm gonna show you. It, it shows the proper miles per hour, but there's a bit of a delay, so it might be slightly off from what you're seeing up on the screen here. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not going four miles an hour, but we'll catch up. There we go. <laughs> so it's not perfect. It's not usable <laughs> in any means. And again, it's not the, the Arduino inside the um, the shell or the display. It's just, I don't know how to communicate. It's communicating over serial ports, so it should be faster, but every time I've done something with uh, OBD2 on my car, um, I just don't know if, if you can get responses out faster. I mean, this is obviously reading uh, through the same computer, you know, this, this little module application that I've installed on my car. Uh, so you would think that I'd be able to get at least, you know, every second at least, but uh, it's a little bit off from that. But it's not too bad just for a fun little project. Time to turn around. And now we'll drive back. So there is some math going on, you know, I'm getting the, the value from the car uh, and it's actually giving it to me in uh, kilometers per hour. And then I have to multiply that by 0.6 something or other. I got the number offline, um, but that that's absolutely, that's not slowing things down at all. Even when I was going with um, kilometers per hour, it was still had the same delay. So there we go. Challenge accepted and kind of sort of met. <laughs> Thanks for watching.